Uh, how to us will be back again. Uh, as usual, my name is Jonathan, and uh, today I wanted to show you how we can create advanced tables in Excel. I mean, in Cobol uh, toolbox. Uh, still, this has been requested by some of our viewers, and uh, they requested us that we to help them with some, with some skills like creating uh, tables in Cobol toolbox. Uh, this is uh, the message that has been sent to our inbox. We take teacher and Katrina from Zambia. I would love if you could help me and my team show us um, how we can set our questions up here in a table directly on Cobol uh, toolbox where students and we need uh, this as a way of research. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, Katrina, um, we are going to help you and uh, you'll, be able, you'll be able to learn how to design tables. Uh, for example, if uh, again, I come back to my question here. If I come to my question and press preview, I want you to see how best this tool is said, how it is currently, and then I'm going to make sure that at least we include the table on our questions. I think you can see uh, all these questions. Uh, all these questions have a table. Uh, so how are we going to create a table? For example, we're going to set another question. Let us set another question. Then we are going to say, we come to the end, then once you reach here, you just say maybe uh, attendance, attendance, attendance list, attendance list, maybe students' attendance list. Yeah, it's gonna make more sense. Students, student, attendance list. So once you come here, uh, you just come to the type question, then we just select this question matrix. How you can see this question matrix. So just click on it. And once you click on it, they'll bring you such a table. I want you to view it very well. Uh, this is our table, student attendance list. So here, uh, it's where we're going to be writing like, uh, what you want to appear, maybe the student's name, how they want to. So, okay, let's first read this. We're going to say maybe uh, what we will need. Okay, we have the response type. We also have like text. We have select one, select many text and the number. So we're going to say maybe, we're going to call it name of student, name of student, Name of the name of the student. Then what how do you want to maybe to appear? We we'll say name, then we make it required to be mandatory. And uh, then it is a text. So someone can easily uh, type the name of the students. Then column two, we're going to have. Uh, we, we can make it number, maybe H. Then this one can also be H. It's also required. Then we, if you want to add another one, if you want to add another one, you just come with this class. Then you say, uh, what else? Time in, time, then also time in. Okay, I think we're going to be enough for, for now. So we have the name of the students, the age, and then the time. So we come to our law here. On our law still, we're going to say maybe, uh, maybe Navasa Jonathan. Navasa Jonathan. Then we call it maybe we just you can just copy this one and paste it here. 
and uh, it will change automatically. Then we can add another one. We we'll say maybe someone, someone, Patricia, Patricia. So we can copy this and bring it here. Then we can also add another one, maybe Miradukunda Precious. Miradukunda Precious. Then, uh, then we can also add another one. Kainom Disha. Kainom Disha Penna. Nina, Nina, still broken first here. Then we can add the last one, Nisima, Nisima, Esta, Nisima, Esta. So this is how our table looks like. We can save. And then once we save, let's go and check if it's really a table or not. Uh, let us give it some little time to load. And uh, when we come to our, our last part, we can see uh, students attendance list. We have them of students age time. Then in our so Jonathan, in some of Patricia, in Adukunda Precious. Yeah, so you're seeing it's not in a table, a table format. So after reaching here, what we're going to do, you just come uh, to the layout settings. So once you reach on the layout settings, you'll come and, and find this form, form style. So on the form style, it's where we're going to change. It from because you see it is in default single page. So uh, after there, you can come and click on grid theme. So after grid theme, once I click on grid, grid theme and I save my form, then after when we save, you come again to preview uh, your form. Uh, you'll find out that you'll find out that now our form is in the table. So Therefore, is in the table. Now let's go to our table down and we check if you can see this. Yeah. So we have the students attendance list. We have the name. We have the age, and then we have the time. So time you can you can type age. It is a number. You can put the digits. You can even increase from here. Then the name of the student, maybe you can say number seven or five. So this is how best you can make your design. Don't just focus on this, make your own design. Yeah, so basically that is how we can make a table. You can change to different formats. We have read with headings in all caps. In all caps, we, if we click there, then you come and save. Uh, then we could draw a form. Ah, uh, all caps, that's how it is looking like. That's how it's looking like. Now, it has made everything like the titles in capital letters. Some of my words were small letters like students, but now, with all caps, it has made it uh, capital. Then multiple pages, once I click on multiple pages, and then I come to save. Once I do my form, uh, you will find out that uh, now the format changes. So they have first brought the, the word, the introduction, then I will click uh, next, then I enter the date and then I enter the name of the emulator, I enter the word. So basically, this is how it can be done. So when I go to now to which other, which other is down, once I go to grid theme and my pages, and then I save, uh, you'll find out that it's still, it will be a bit different, like the way it was. Now we have grid, like a table grid, and then the other part. Now you're seeing our question, 
has been put in a table. So let's assume that maybe I'm going to the end. Let me click go to the end. Once I click on the end, you will find uh, I'll have uh, one like uh, go to end. So it will still bring a name, then you have to fill different things. Yeah, and then green theme, multiple pages, headers, all. So uh, basically, this is the same as this one, though, to make sure that everything is in capital. So the recommended one is always uh, green theme. You just put your form in green theme, and then, and then you can be able to do your data collection in a table. Or you can see this one is at least uh, well organized. Yeah, so after that, after saving your form, you can just come here again. And then, uh, what was the name of the tool? You just come and do the deploying. So after deploying, you just click there. Then you come and say, we deploy. And once you deploy, and then you review your form. I think that one was white, white Africa, with tears. Five years is here. You just deploy, redeploy. So, redeploying, you will just click on it. Then uh, you end up deploying your form. After deploying the form, you can go and start doing the data collection. So, I'm redeploying so that when I uh, deploy the form on my phone, I can easily have access to it. So uh, guys, basically that is how we can visit uh, a great theme table in our Kobo toolbox. I really thank you so much. Like, I really thank you for the time you're investing in like, watching our videos. Uh, you really been great. And um, as usual, I'm recommending you guys to always subscribe to our channel. If you've not yet subscribed, uh, share our videos in case they've been so much helpful to you. Uh, comments in case you have any question and then like uh this time I want us to yeah bye